slam dunk contests, those minutes that attract the most fans every year and of which many people do not stop complaining. Because it's true, it's very difficult to reinvent the way dunks are done. But if one thing is clear, it is that when the performances are good, those seconds last in the memory of the fans for eternity. And speaking of eternity, welcome to Eternity Hoops. Today, we are going to rank the 10 most iconic slam dunk performances in NBA history. What better way to start than with Dwight Howard, our number 10. The Orlando Magic Center had one of the most incredible athleticism in the league, with tremendous mobility despite his size. And that used to be rare. He proved it in the 2008 dunk contest when he performed really difficult dunks for a center. And especially in the first round, when he dressed as Superman, he performed his most iconic dunk. At number 9, we have precisely one of Dwight's teammates during his time with the Lakers, and it is none other than the Black Mamba. When he arrived in the NBA and wasn't even a starter for the Los Angeles Lakers, in 1997, Kobe performed in a legendary contest that allowed him to lift the award. In addition to an early representation of his aura, Kobe demonstrated a plasticity that had not been seen to date and was somewhat reminiscent of His Majesty Air Jordan. And we continue with the classic contests, in this case with one of the most iconic players to ever participate. Our number 8 on the list is none other than Spud Webb, the smallest player to ever win a slam dunk contest when he did it in 1986, or simply the smallest player ever to participate. Despite his 5 foot 6 inch height, Spud had a simply incredible vertical leap, which allowed him to take one of the first editions of the dunk contest. Just watching someone of such a small stature get to the hoop is spectacular and capable of blowing away the best athletes from all over the world. And since we have already opened the tiny player's sidewalk, what better than to continue with Dwight Howard's kryptonite? Our seventh player on the list is not as small as Webb, but almost. At 5'9", Nate Robinson not only managed to stand up to Dwight during the late 2000s contests, but he has also been the only player able to take the contest three times. But even so, his performance in the 2009 edition, in which he jumped over Superman in the final round, marked a before and after in the history of the contest. And we come to number 6, who is also a player who managed to win the contest several times. Dominique Wilkins, besides being a splendid dunker, was one of the best players in the NBA and probably the best player in the history of the Atlanta Hawks. His athleticism was simply absurd, and that allowed him to become one of the best dunkers in the history of the league. Despite losing to Jordan in the 1998 contest, his performance in the 1990 All-Star Weekend has allowed him to enter the history books. Dunks, of course, way ahead of his time. But if there was another player who showed innovation and plasticity, it was Jason Richardson. And that is precisely our fifth place in this top 10. Another two-time champion of the slam dunk contest, who was also the second player in history to win it in consecutive years, in 2003, the Golden State Warriors shooting guard delivered an incredible performance, beating the also great dunker Desmond Mason in the finals. His between-the-legs reverse dunk was one of the most iconic in the history of the All-Star Weekend. And yes, our next pick is going to bring controversy for sure, but our fourth best performance in the history of dunk contests belongs to Zach Levine. The then Minnesota Timberwolves shooting guard had huge hype leading up to the 2015 contest and everyone thought it would be a cakewalk. And it was. But in 2016, he came up with a top-notch opponent, a performance in which he made dunks that were made 20 years ago look easy and ended up winning in the final against, well, we don't want to spoil it. And on the podium, of course, we have Michael Jordan. He has the bronze medal in this top 10, a medal that he got in a contest that we have talked about before. Jordan was crowned as a champion of the dunk contest in 1988 when he starred in an incredible duel against Dominique Wilkins. Michael had just arrived in the NBA and he proved his mentality by performing one of the most iconic dunk contest performances, which has endured for all this time in the memory of fans around the world. And since we are talking about duels, what better way to continue with them than remembering the 2016 dunk contest, which we have already talked about before. It is curious that our second player on the list did not win that year, but the truth is that he had reasons to do so. Aaron Gordon performed an incredibly creative dunk contest that everyone remembers. And even though his dunks failed to dethrone Zach Levine as champion, 
many people thought the then Orlando Magic player should have won. His image sitting at a hoop height is one of the most spectacular in the history of all dunk contests. And we come to number one, la creme de la creme, a player who changed the way dunks were performed and whose aesthetics continue to imprint today's moves. He is none other than Vince Carter. The then player of the Raptors made a spectacular contest in the 2000 edition, performing unimaginable dunks for the time that have continued to set the trend until today. His it's over gesture has become one of the signature images of the NBA, and even more so knowing that he did it after leaving tens of millions of people speechless. A legendary dunker who was also a star in the NBA and has shown a unique longevity. Let's go home. Each year, four players participate in this event with only one winner, but between the winners and over the years, another contest is held the one to find out who has been the champion of champions. The performances usually leave fans cold, thinking they have seen nothing different from what they have seen before. However, the players who manage to innovate go down in history forever. But anyways, what changes would you like to make to the ranking? And remember, if you enjoy NBA content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.